the length need weight or does the hair need weight or does it need less weight okay generally speaking draws the longer the hair becomes the less the need for weight there is because the weight is there naturally okay so when someone grows their hair out long you know somewhat to my length um, and they want to continue to grow it then we would not build the weight we would reduce the weight because as the hair gets to this length the need for weight becomes no there is not okay if anything as the hair gets longer there's actually too much weight there's excess weight so that's why we layer something when it gets longer that's why we graduate stuff when it's shorter okay layering is the internal reduction of weight around the head okay so we're layering we're reducing weight internally and distributing length around the head that's what layering is okay the key word there guys is internally okay so layering happens inside we can't see it until we pick it up and check it layering happens on the inside okay so internally we're reducing weight and distributing length okay off by grooming the hair in the direction my section is going to go if i want to take the horizontal section but the hair is laying vertically right, i'm going to have this friction i'm going to okay so what i want to do is actually groom the hair back before i section it okay? and that's going to allow me to section with ease secondly i want to bring my index finger onto the top of the comb I then want to make sure that the spine of the comb is straight because if the spine of the comb is diagonal then the section is going to be diagonal. So I want to make sure to bring the spine of the comb nice and straight, index finger goes on top of the comb and then I'm going to drive back with two fingers and split them where I want to split the section. Okay, and I'll take that one more time. Comb comes in, index finger on top of the comb, making sure the spine is nice and straight, driving the section back, and then pulling the bottom part of the section away first, not the top. Dividing point between what we would call the top and the back of the head, okay? Or what we know as the coronal. What we want is we want the whole coronal to be part of the back of the head, not the top of the head. So the coronal gets layered with the back, not with the top, okay? So right where that last point of the comb touches the head, is where I take my section to the top. Same again, spine of the comb straight, index finger on top, driving across the top. Pull my section down and then groom this section forward. Now, halfway there. Now, guys, generally what I'll do is I'll just take a random section, come to the front. I'll see if the balance is correct from the front. Okay, nice, if it is. Tension from each corner. Okay, I'm gonna bring everything in. I'm gonna get that tension right to the middle. Okay, once I have my tension in place, I'm then gonna wrap the hair around itself and create just a knot on the top of the hair, which is gonna allow me to just section this off and keep it in place. Quires. Okay, and all we're going to do is swap from hand to hand each time, okay, until we're satisfied that the knot is tight. We want to just keep doing this all the way to the top until we run out of hair, basically. And then what I want to do is fold this around itself. And that's going to lock that in nice and tight. Some clips to hold it in place. Okay, I like to use two clips on this because the tension should have talked to me quite extreme and we want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And we're in place. I'm going to use my comb to determine where that is. This is the corner. We have the back, the corner, and the side. I'm going to divide the head right there where the head begins to round. I'm going to take a straight section right the way down.
I'm cutting square, actually when the head bounces back straight, it would actually be longer at the top, okay? First and foremost, I'm gonna make sure the head's nice and straight. I'm gonna start off by taking my first section in the back, which is just gonna be section number one, okay? And I'm gonna use clips to just hold my sections in place, okay? Now, you know, there's depending on how much time I have in the salon, sometimes I won't use clips, but if I can use clips, I will use them, because it takes me less than a couple of seconds to just pop that in there each time. In the vertical shape, we're gonna also use our over direction, two to one, three to two, four to three, which will create a square shape horizontally. So again, we'll only have eight sections in the back, but we'll work vertically and horizontally all at once, okay? Okay, to come in. And all I want in my fingers is from my fingertip to my first knuckle, that's it. I don't want hair from fingertip to top knuckle. Right, because there's too much. There's not enough tension beyond the big knuckle. Beyond the big knuckle, there's no tension. Above there, it's tension, okay? Now, fingertip the first knuckle. What I'm gonna do is bring the left side of my body out just beyond the back of the head, okay? If I'm standing here, then my lower back is gonna give. So I wanna be slightly more out, okay? Body position nice and strong. Fine side comes in, fingertip the first knuckle, okay? Now my right knee is gonna carry my body out. Right, make sure that the hair is straight coming out from the base. Left side of the scissor comes in and works like a guillotine along my finger. Reset your position, fingers come in. Fingers travel all the way down now. I'm not worried about what happens to the hair above my big knuckle. See the way, look at the very top of my fingers, guys, how that's creasing. Why am I not worried about up there? It's really cool. It's cool. I don't need to. All I need is a little bit of the last section in the tense part of my fingers to see the right length. See? All I need is this. Nice and square. V the scissor comes in. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Lift this up. Let everything fall. Once I have a grip, then I come around. Fingers travel all the way down now. Fingers are at the base. Knee comes out. There's the guide. Section one done. Happen a lot, people split one. Keep one as a full section. We only split when we have two sections. Okay, point side of the comb comes in, left side of the body is just at the back of the head, not fully beyond, but just the left kind of side of the silhouette of my body is just tucked in there. Fine side comes in, fingertip the first knuckle, meets as close to the root as possible. Look in the mirror, guys, how close the fingers and comb are. I'm not meeting them out here because I've lost tension already. Look at this, look how weak that is. So what I need to do is meet behind the comb as tight to the root as possible. Okay, then drive out on the knee, looking in the mirror the whole time. There's my guide. Beautiful, on the first finger, bang. Okay, nice and square. Hold that, come back. Next section. Fine side comes in, finger comes behind, coming out on the knee, making sure nice and square. There's the guide. Where is section number four? You've lost it, there it is there. And then we're gonna work into section number one here. So very simply, we're gonna take section number four in the back. And I'll take section number one on the side. One. There's the guide. Now, the guide is never as clear when you're working from the back into the side. 
due to the fact that the hair is traveling so much and generally speaking mannequins just don't have as much density in this area but you will be able to see it it just might be a little bit faint but generally speaking you just need to look quite closely and there's the diet there starting off at the top fingers come in knee comes out most people lose all their length on top okay so when people do like a slick back or they do something along these lines where they're connecting from the back to the top or where they're taking the drive from the back to the top this is where most people lose a massive amount of length right? I'm gonna show you right now so section number one now what we're gonna do guys is use the top of section number one in the back and we're gonna just carry this up and that's going to become our guide for the top, okay, very simply. Transport the hair from the back to the top and we're going to use this very top piece as the guide. Now, what we like to call that is the longest short piece and I'll show you why. Because what happens sometimes is that people pick up this whole section and what they do is they actually cut, say, from here. See that little guide there? Right? or even worse, sometimes they pick it up right down here and they cut the top from there right? and you lose all that length on top right? so what we're looking for guys is the longest short piece we're looking for the hair at the very top of that layer from the back okay? we're looking for this piece of hair all the way up here this Closest piece to the top. Closest piece to the top, basically. We're looking for that very top piece. But guys, remember, bear in mind, we just layered all this square. So what I don't want to do is use this as the guide. I want to use this as the guide. See when that tran tran transports? Right, watch this. See how it changes length? All right. I want to use the top piece of it. Okay. Now, Again, this is where head shape becomes so important to us because a lot of people when they do square layers, they don't know where the coronal is. I'm going to pick up that very top piece and use that as my guide. Drive all the way to the top. There's the longer short piece. And bang, done. All the way to the front, there it is, the last piece, bang, bang, bang. And then what we have is a nice square layer to the top as well. Yeah. Take a little piece of my dried with me the whole way. Again, only work and fingertip the first knuckle. When we forcefully blow dry men's hair too much, it looks feminine, yeah? So when you like straighten all this out, really like just get stuck into it with a hair dryer, that's too straight and it looks too feminine. So what you actually want to do is just almost hand dry it, just to the point where it's pretty much dry, but there's still a little bit of dampness in the hair to allow it to dry naturally, yeah? A nice area. What do you think? It's about right, isn't it? Yep. 
Remember, this is a long haircut, so I'm not looking to make it too short.